Hey guys, Warm Racer 08, and I'd like to welcome you back to part two of uh, capturing a user's signature with uh, a cool jQuery plugin that uses uh, HTML5 canvas element and uh, the uh, Java, uh, JavaScript um, flash canvas for uh, like IE7 and IE8 that don't support uh, HTML5 elements. Anyway, well, we left off. We had uh, gotten our form. We initialized the plugin, and uh, we have an area here where we can draw. Uh, we haven't saved that data yet, uh, so that we can regenerate it. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention uh, that I left out of the first video was uh, the plugin also has a built-in error checking. So if you try to submit uh, the the form without anything in the area, it uh, prepares an error message to uh, the form that that can be styled just uh, just like everything else and it's we could have passed that in as one of our options uh, the parameter is error class and we can name it uh, whatever we want we can make that say that text red or whatever but anyway I just wanted you to be aware that 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 does happen and so the, I guess the next thing we need to do is uh, figure out what are we going to do when we submit this uh, whatever we draw here, how are we going to store that and then retrieve it later? So let's get back into Dreamweaver. And if you remember, the the action on our form was this PHP script called Capture Signature. And so we need to write that. And of course, I've already written it, so we're just going to look at it because it's not much code here. But anyway, uh, it's a file called Capture Signature.php, uh, and in it we have one PHP block. And I'm claiming a variable here that I've called uh, JSON sig data, JSON underscore sig data. And it's equal to uh, the global variable of post. And what we're posting is this output. And if you remember what I told you uh, in the beginning is this input right here, this input field that is hidden uh, with a class name of output, also has a name attribute of output because that's what we send to the data, I mean send to the server. Uh, as data. Uh, this is where the JSON gets written to as you're drawing something. And you don't have to do anything. The plugin handles all that. And uh, essentially it's an array, a very large array of just coordinates. And so we post that to this script. And for this example, uh, like I told you in the beginning, I'm just writing it to a text file uh, you know, in a real world application, you would probably be storing this in a database with, uh, you know, the other user data that was submitted along with the form. But uh, for this example, we're just going to write it to a text file. And to do that, after we've posted uh, the data and stored it in this variable, we'll use PHP function called uh, file put contents. And it takes two uh, arguments. And the first one is going to be uh, the name of the text file. And you don't have to create this text file. Uh, PHP will create it uh, for you if it doesn't exist. If it exists, it will just overwrite the data that's already there. So, uh, in quotation marks, just whatever you're going to name the text file, which I've named it the same as my variable, a comma, and then the data, which in this case is what we've posted. So the JSON sig data. And then I've just got a, a redirection here so that we redirect back to... Um, the original page where we write our signature so that we don't get just a blank page uh, because that's what would happen uh, if we didn't. So anyway, you can just file, uh, save as, and let me get back to the desktop here and find our folder, which uh, our project folder is signature, and we're going to save this as capture signature.php. Save, and I don't want to update these links. All right, so I can close this one. All right, so now we have that. And at this point, uh, this would work. And we would be able to uh, draw something in our field and click Submit. And it will would post the data and write it to the file. So that's great. But now then, what do we need to do? Well, we need to be able to grab that uh, information that's in that file and display it back uh, like we've like I've done here in the dem in the demo 
uh, where we draw something in here, uh, just a little smiley face or something, and we submit that to the server, and then we can grab it back, and there it is. So we're going to need a, uh, an element here to, to house this uh, data, and then we're going to use uh, jQuery's Ajax to uh, send a call to the server to grab the contents of that file, and then we'll use the plugin to regenerate uh, the JSON data into this image. So let's jump back into Dreamweaver, and we're going to need another element here, and I'm going to grab this code and paste it in. And so outside of our, our div element that contains our form, we're going to create another a div element here. Let me tab this back over and get it. Okay. All right. So again, this is just a wrapper element uh, that centers it in the window. And and so once we created this wrapper element, then we have another div, and I've assigned a class of sign to it. And then within that, we've got another div that has a class of sign wrapper and then our HTML5 canvas element and so if we save that now and go take a look at it see what we have we refresh the page you see we just have this element here with a um, you know just a border around it and there's nothing going on so let's see we need a button so I'm going to grab this button and paste it in here, control V. And so this is a, this is one of those things where you, you do as I say, not as I do. Um, and, and I don't advocate this practice, but just to make this quick and easy, uh, I've used the depreciated tag of center here, just to center this button in the window. Um, and I don't, I don't suggest you do that. I suggest you wrap it in a, a div tag and set the margins to auto on the left and right. But uh, just for quick, quick demonstration purposes, that we'll, that's what we're going to do. So we'll f we'll save that now after we've created our button, and I've given it an ID of Git, and and we're going to need this because uh, we're going to uh, use jQuery to uh, use the dot click function um, on this ID of Git. So let's we've saved our our uh, uh, added button. Let's go in here and refresh the page, and we should have our div element with our button. Great, but nothing happens when we click it. It's because we haven't wired up any JavaScript yet. But we are just about to. But before we do that, let's go ahead and write our next uh, PHP script that's going to grab the contents of the file and uh, get it prepared to return back uh, to our Ajax call. And for that, we're going to use um, a file I've called returnsignature.php. And again, it's just a, a real small file with one PHP block in it. And uh, we ha I'm claiming a variable here. Uh, I believe that's actually the same. Yeah, it's the same name as the original one, but it doesn't matter. It's in a different file. And uh, it's, it's uh, a local variable, so we don't have to worry about uh, you know, any interference there. So anyway, uh, this variable of JSON sig data is going to be equal to a PHP function of file get contents. And it takes one argument, and that is going to be the file name, the text file name. And so, because it's saved in our uh, in the root of this folder, uh, we don't need to specify the path. The path is just directly the file name, which, if you remember from the capture signature, was JSON sig data dot txt. And then uh, one one thing that we have to do here. Um, the the uh, one of the dependencies that the plugin relies on is a JSON uh, script, and when it writes the data to that hidden form field, it, everything is in quotation marks, so it escapes it all with backslashes, and so that's stored in the the text file like that. Well, it's not usable that way. So what we do here is we just echo out this variable but we call php strip slashes on it first and that removes all the slashes from it so then echo strip slashes and we put our variable name in here and we are ready to go and make our ajax call uh, and redisplay 
uh, the user signature. All right, so we'll just say file, save as, and let's get back to our project folder, signature, and we'll save it as return signature.php. No, and we can close this old one, and we don't really need either of these files anymore, so we can close them out. So now, uh, all we need to do is write the remaining part of our uh, JavaScript and uh, redisplay this to the user. So let's do that uh, in our functions.javascript or .js, I'm sorry, file. Uh, we left this here where we initialized our plugin on our form object and passed in some options uh, that we used which were uh, pin color and uh, just some some silly stuff so then the next thing we would need to do here is get set up for our Ajax call to redisplay this um, in our di in that div element that we just created so let me grab this code here and we'll we'll pop this in and talk about it all right, let me control V this in here. All right, so here we go. So we've got, uh, remember I named that uh, button, it had an ID of git, right? So we, we say jQuery, uh, the element with the ID of git dot click function. And what we're going to do is create an Ajax call. And in our Ajax call, we're, we've defined uh, some properties. And one of those is the URL. And the URL is going to be that return signature.php that we just wrote, which grabs the contents of our text file and echoes it back out. And then we have a type, and this is important for IE. Um, it seemed to work well in the other browsers without defining a type, um, but it seems that IE uh, makes a GET request and then it caches the data so you'll never see the update. So we just need to define a type of post. Uh, post requests are not cached by default. And then on success, what do we want to do? Well, we want to display the data uh, that was in that text file to our, um, to this, this canvas element in this new div that we created. So we say on the success, we have a function which takes a uh, argument of data, which is the data will be whatever is returned from the server. And we need to, one other thing we need to do here is we need to store a reference to the, um, the element that we're going to initialize with the signature pad. So we'll create a variable up here, and I'm just going to call it signature. And we're going to make it equal to uh, jQuery. And in parentheses, we need the element name or ID uh, or class, whatever it is, um, of the element that we're going to redisplay this in, which in this case is this div right here that I've assigned a class of signed to. So this is going to be jQuery, the element with the class of yeah, uh, period signed. S I G N E D. We'll close that. We want to call signature pad on it. Signature pad. And this time, instead of passing in an options variable that had a bunch of key value pairs defined, we only need one. And to do that, we have our opening parenthesis, an opening curly brace, and we're going to uh, define or set the uh, parameter of display only which takes a boolean we're going to set it to true t-r-u-e that way nobody can write in this box it's only going to display what we tell it to display uh, closing curly brace closing parenthesis and a semicolon now that we have a reference to our uh, signature uh, variable which is essentially this object we we call it here on the success function of our Ajax request. We, we say signature 
dot regenerate which is a method of the signature pad plugin and we pass to it this data variable which is right here and this data variable is what contains that JSON object the the JSON array um, for the signature and that's it uh, we just close off our uh, function our anonymous function here we need to close off our Ajax call right here we close off our click function right here and then this is the closing of the document dot ready we just file save that file and if we go back into our example here and refresh it's really not going to look any different and because this is uh, just local uh, it's it, it really won't it's not going to do anything because I'm not I don't have a server to do this but uh, essentially this is what you'll end up with when we refresh the page and you can draw anything you want in here uh, you can write somebody's name submit it and then tell it to grab the signature and there it is or we could draw a smiley face and submit it and then get the signature and see, you see why I said that uh, in our PHP script, uh, we would more than likely in a real world application, you would want to uh, store that in uh, the database because with the text file, we're, we're just overwriting it each time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I mean, I can just see a bunch of possibilities you could do uh, with this, this plugin if you extended it uh, to do other things. Um, that's pretty much it, fellas. You know, hope you liked it, and uh, we'll catch you next time.